Aaron's got to look at exactly where the hot spots are, yep. where they've been, and the tricky wind story. Yes, Brian, I'm going to use the weather satellite's ability to map these fires to give us a better understanding for how this fire behaved today, but more importantly, how it might behave tomorrow. Take a look at the map over my shoulder. You're going to see a high resolution view of Napa Valley. You can actually see St. Helena near the bottom of the screen, Calistoga a little bit higher up, Silverado Trail runs up the valley right through there. You've been to wineries through here. Everywhere you see a red square is where the satellite read the fire today. The fire actually was working to the north for most of the day, which is totally counterintuitive because the winds were coming from the northwest and blowing the smoke that way. But this fire was being driven by the terrain. It's easier to burn uphill, and the winds were not too terribly strong down here. Let me show you where Katie was standing just now. We're going to come in for a closer look at the footprint of the fire. You can see the vineyard on there where she was just standing. So the flames work their way up like this all day. Now the concern is, as the winds shift overnight up here on this ridge top, the flames going to start burning down this way. There's the community of Deer Park. She just said she had some concerns over. Let me show you why those concerns are justified. Because as we look at the forecast for how the wind's going to behave over the course of the next 12 hours, the brighter the color, the stronger the winds. And remember, there's two waves to this red flag warning. The first one was this morning. The second wave comes in overnight into tomorrow morning. And by the time we've gotten past midnight, now there's another strong push of winds with a little bit more of a direct easterly flow. And now that those flames are up closer to the ridge top, this fire is more vulnerable to get pushed by these winds. It won't just be the terrain driving it, and the winds could potentially push it back towards the communities where people live. There's a lot to watch with that fire. There's also a heat wave that we're all experiencing where you live, and that's the other aspect I want to make sure is not left out of this. Daytime highs today, pretty high, but they're going to get higher tomorrow. Just a quick view on where we're going for daytime highs tomorrow and where the records stand. We're not going to be breaking them, except for Oakland. Oakland, we actually will break the record tomorrow by two degrees. Either way, it's going to be hot everywhere. We'll talk more about how long this lasts. And then we need to look at the air quality forecast because the glass fire is the smallest fire in Northern California right now, putting out the least amount of smoke compared to five other big ones, which once again took off today.